Hi guys, welcome to the system. What if you think that the Arconix XS Xen mod, so basically the new guy on the block, what if you think that's not, well, it could use a little bit of change. Arconix makes all that possible, right? Know that even though we ship many different ISOs out there, you can change the Arconix X Xen mod. We've just built it yesterday, right? And yesterday is the 8th of October 2022. So, building an ISO of ours is here. You want to build your own ISO, but not with Vivaldo. No, no, yes, I want Vivaldi. Oh, not with Google Chrome. No, yes, with Chromium, not Google Chrome, and so on. These are all decisions, choices. And you can make, there we go, you can make your own Arclix XS. So we're missing, build your own Arclix XS Xen mod. That's basically what we're going to do now. And the article I'm going to make right right includes this thing in except instead of lts it says xenmod and that's it right the article that i will make later on control c will not say lts but will say right xenmod that's it so if i wanted to make it i go to the desktop already a lot of stuff there but i open terminal i say git clone me and of course the right one, so not the LTS, but the Xen mod. And let's see, git clone git clone is not used, right? Git clone git clone double. There you go. So we got ourselves an Arclix Xen mod XS, right? XS Xen mod. Basically, all I need to do, all you need to do is run number 40. But then you have exactly the same ISO updated, of course, uh, from the date, from today, the packages from today, the kernel from today, etc. But nothing has changed really, right? It's just the update of packages. So if you want to change packages, we tell you on the website, go and have a look at this file. Close other tabs. So what you need to do is not start at the top, start at the bottom. Right, and okay, yes, sure, we want to have XenMod and XenMod headers, but maybe you also want to have left WM or Mate, right? It's just a word, and you have XFC and Mate together on one ISO. Hey, it's your ISO, build your own ISO. So, but let's keep um, one um, desktop and just move over things at the top. Oh yeah, maybe we should do for, go for a Perl setting. So everything that's gray is not used. It's not going to go in the ISO. So it's just a hashtag away and it will be on the ISO. Simple as that. So these guys keep off. These guys keep off, keep off, right? Still keep off always. <laughs> and then we are at the stuff that you may consider of getting rid of right if you don't want to have the arch links tweet on there fine i don't mind just put a hashtag there right same for variety if you're not keen oh sorry if you're not keen using variety just put hashtags in front of it it's just this and variety is no longer there but think about all the others as well so um control f variety there is still the application these are the configurations if you don't want the application, then go for it, right? And that's the way how you go over all these things and say Firefox, and I don't like Firefox. It's simple, it's a hashtag. So it goes on and on, applications as you, you read and you say, I like arc icon theme or etc. Let's see, Discord maybe, you would like to include Discord rather than not include it. XS is a small run, right? Like in the clothing, extra small. So that's why these things are not included, but maybe you don't like uh, Inksy and, and stuff like that. And um, Probe, right? This is used by Probe. 
and the duff maybe you don't like duff at all right but it's it's a nice little thing but doesn't cost us a lot of kilobytes right not megabytes even i think but in the end it's all up to you right it's all up to you what do you want to have this is the probe alias that we use based on hw probe and lots of things that you might think of getting rid of so basically the only thing i've done now i think is variety i got rid of variety that's one of the things people ask what's happening to my wallpaper well it's a fetcher and it's gonna set also your uh, wallpaper so this one is built it well with the packages that you already have so the cache so that's faster the other one is going to remove the cache and you need to download every single package again so that's more bandwidth so basically that's it guys git clone decide what packages you want to change build the thing and then you have your own iso your personalized iso of xenot in this case I suppose we better let it run and we can install it later on as well. So in the meantime, I, what I'm going to do while it's doing its job, I'm going to make a copy paste of this little guy. I'm going to call it Xenmod and as simple as that. And if you see one of these, if you go over a few of these, then you realize Eric is explaining everything the same over and over and over again with just one difference a URL pointing to the right URL that's it and all the rest is exactly the same all right enjoy building your own ISO because that's the power we gave you use it build your own ISO with your own desktop and yes you can make combos sure you can create Arcolix XS and LeftWM why not have both of them XFC and left WM and so on plasma so many things uh, explained already having dusk there creating the B dusk and plasma and DWM together but of course control alt E and then you, of course you have the Arch Linux tweak tool and you say I want to have that desktop easy peasy right also possible but the thing is if you already decided what desktop you want to have maybe you want to have an ISO like that just lying around pop it in again when something fails when you break something or brick something and that's that so let's wait for the video well the build to continue here and let's pause for a moment we're finishing the ISO at the moment and we get something with 2.3 gigabytes in size and then we have the Arcolix B out sorry Arcolix XS so Arcolix out so this is your thing right not my thing this is your idea of having an Xenot ISO without right variety that's it and you play around and test until you say this is what I want to have so let's uh, clone this thing, call it Xen Personal or something like that. I'll delete it later on. And then we have the choose a disk file, Eric, Eric like out, Xen mod, boom, boom. And off we go. This is your thing. You install it the same way as always. Open source drivers, NVIDIA, proprietary uh, drivers with or without Nouveau. And if our all fails, the four first line fail, no mode set, you know the drill. And then we boot up and it's gonna give messages you've never seen before. Hey, I know, I see him too. So let uh, the kernel figure out what's this particular setup, your hardware, real metal or virtual box or VMware or QMU and anything, right? It will figure out what it can and will set what it can set and um, off it goes. doesn't really make sense to install it I mean it's just right it's it's 
exactly the same thing. It's just one package not present. So advanced installation. Next. This is new, right? So this is okay. Know this, we know this, we know this. But there is also the possibility to switch from the default Xenmod kernel, maybe like the Edge kernel for some reason, or the LTS kernel, hardware reasons often. And you select them and it downloads that as well. Now, of course, since we've removed variety, I don't think we'll have the choice here, right? Because variety is something we don't want. It's not an artificial intelligence that knows that you have changed something and that now variety suddenly will be in there, included in there. So, well, you just go and check whatever you want to check and then you install it. Let's go through the motions anyway because I can explain you some things in the meantime. So that's done. We installed that thing. And then what I wanted to show, if you go to another desktop, right mouse click, open terminal, sudo pacman minus sy, let's get the databases in. And then I wanna remove variety, right? Ah, there is no variety. So variety is not installed, not included. There's no icon of variety here down here either. All the Arclux things, well, there are lots there, but Arclux V, no, wallpapers. There is no Arclux variety. So it's as simple as that. Omitting things, thinking, um, and maybe you, you think right now, can I remove more stuff, right? Well, learn. Right, learn and PAMAC is a great tool to browse your stuff. So you can have these guys next to each other. What's this about Arclix Alacrity? What do they provide? They provide a code, files. Where are the files? Ah, it's a configuration for Alacrity. There is the default one, that's the one that's used. This one is as kind of a backup, right? If you mess things up, you still know that's the default Arclix. That's the default from the other guys, Alacrity, who have also a default. And this is how you can compare, right? You know the drill, right? Mouse click, melt, compare between these files. And then you know, ah, that's why, that, that's what they changed. And off you go, right? You can go and have a look at all these guys and say, do I need the common kit? Do I need to common kit? Some of these things are dependencies for others, so you're gonna get it in anyway. This is for the um, the, the right mouse click and the conkeys. If it's working, there you are. So some of the things you really need to figure out: Do I need these faces? Maybe you don't need the faces, right? It's these things. We click on there. All these guys select from stock on browse, select from stock. Look at that. Some, 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 some minor stuff. Do we need it? No, no, no. So you decide what um, you want to have. Not only the Arclix stuff, but all the other stuff. This is what we now have. So if you say in XS, I, let's see, let's see. Never burn USBs, maybe, right? So that's MinStick. I want another browser. It's good that Firefox is there, but I want another one. So add one more. Multimedia, there's nothing here to play anything, yeah, except this one, the default XFC one. But VLC is not there, MPV, there are lots of choices. You can find them on Calamaris. And here, well, it's, it's always a decision time, whatever you hate. And whatever you like <laughs> those are the things you'll probably add or delete as simple as that but in the meantime no let's pause the video and then we boot up and then it's completely finalized i just paused and it just woof, <laughs> went all the way so nearly done And then we put up, if you press E, you can see, ah, Linux, that's not cool. All right, enter. 
and off we go and of course the only thing I can show you is variety is not there <laughs> variety is not there okay no var is it easy to, ins to install of course it's easy to install it's just maybe maybe you better use this one why then you see all the names in one go so the application the application the configuration to auto start it the configuration itself and we're back in business it's back on on there if we want right it's just an apply away and it's back on the system so voila this is your article links b guys use the power we give you the power to build your own iso with your own packages your own stuff and there are many tutorials to take it further even further with uh, working with a folder that's in here have a look what this personal folder means right why is that personal folder there that's only us who have it why have a look all right cheers